Now I'm going to show you how to format your text once it's inside Caption Maker. Caption Maker has many sets of tools to ensure that your text appears correctly on the screen. The first set of tools that we would like to introduce are the up and down arrows, otherwise known as the push and pull arrows. For example, the way they work, if you want to push the last word of this caption to the next caption, you simply press the down arrow. You'll see that the word appears now on the next caption. If you would like to pull the last word of the next caption up, you simply press the up arrow. So you can see that these affect specifically the last word of each caption. Next I'd like to cover the expand and contract options on each caption. These enable you, the user, to make each caption up to four lines or make a two-line caption into one line. This enables you to have a lot of flexibility depending on what's on the screen at a time. Next we can change the positioning of each caption on the screen. There are three panels over here on the left side of the screen. They're called the horizontal, the vertical, and the justification panels. If we select each one, we can see how, by right-clicking on the mouse, they affect each caption. That is the horizontal. You can see that the options for that are left, center, and right positioning. For the vertical, we have top, center, and bottom positionings. For justification, we can left justify or right justify. If we select left horizontal positioning, we typically should select left justification as well. If these aren't enough, or if you have a specific caption that you need to move up or down, you can simply grab the caption and move it. That gives you unsurpassed flexibility, especially when you have many lower thirds or other graphics on the screen.